Let's talk about two different approaches to coding that you can think about and consider before you start doing your coding. We'll cover deductive and inductive coding. So deductive coding is a top-down approach to coding. This is when you start with a set of codes based on either research questions or a framework or something else. Then you take those codes and look at your data to see what parts of your data fit those codes. This is a really great process if you're doing anything that's descriptive or very structured, if you're doing a program evaluation. The benefit of doing deductive coding is you get to start off with a set of codes that you determine before you look at your data, and then you look at your data to see what parts of it fit those codes. A different approach is inductive coding, and this is a ground up approach. So rather than starting with a set of codes, you start by looking at your data. And then based off of what you're seeing in your data, that's when you derive the types of codes that will be appropriate for your data. This is good if you're doing anything that's very discovery-based or exploratory. If you're doing grounded theory or thematic analysis, perhaps you're trying to come up with a new research framework. Inductive coding, you don't have those preconceived notions of what your codes should be, so it's a little more open and you're allowing those codes to be derived from what you see in the data. So just to re-summarize, deductive coding is a top-down approach where you start with codes, then look at your data to see how it fits your codes. Inductive is ground up, so you're looking at your data first and then deriving codes from the data. And these are two different processes you can think about when you're considering how you want to approach your coding. In reality, you might do a hybrid approach where you're going to combine deductive and inductive, or you might choose one or the other. But either way, just pick what's most appropriate for the way you're doing your research. Next up, I'll show a step-by-step -step overview of what the coding process can look like from beginning to end. This video is part of Delve's online course on qualitative data analysis. Learn more at delftool.com slash course.